Check this out. This is a storytelling technique that I absolutely love and I do it whenever I can. Telling a story without words. So this is from my first documentary, Memories of War. I directed this right out of uni. It explores how World War II impacted the lives of people, ranging from schoolgirls to soldiers from a small English town. Because it's an historical film, there's a lot of archive footage to play with. And this is where I love to chop up the footage and try and tell a little story without words. So I do it like this. First, you have to prime the audience. Before you go into the sequence, the audience needs to either be in the right emotional frame of mind or thinking about a particular idea. So you need to plant that idea in their head. An idea. One way you can do this is by having a character say something. So here, Ivan comments about how he remembered seeing miles of American soldiers boarding trains that were probably taking them to their death. And you could more or less say a few hours later, Perhaps a lot of them be dead. That's a heavy thought. And I wanted to give it some time and space to sink in. Just, you know, let the audience sit with that. So the wordless sequence gives them space for the ideas to run. And the music and the images charges the idea with emotional weight. So I show how trains were used to take holiday goers to the beach. And in the back of our mind, we're understanding that soon those same trains will be taking soldiers to a different kind of beach. It would have been too much to jump straight to the soldiers. I wanted to slowly build up to them to give a sense of how we can commit large scale destructive acts by giving way to small incremental ones. So I show how the war takes over the trains. Soldiers guard the stations. Heavy industry grows. The trains are now transporting war supplies and munitions. Then we see thousands of supplies for soldiers to give a sense of the scale of the war. A train loaded with tanks as the fighting intensifies. And finally, as the music reaches its sad crescendo, we see the smiling soldiers bravely doing their duty. It's not enough to tell an audience about something and expect them to feel the full emotional weight of that. You have to take them on a journey, and that can be difficult to do, but it's powerful if you get it right. We often don't understand something by approaching it directly. It takes an indirect approach to fully grasp a concept or emotion. There's been a few films that have really inspired this technique for me and I would highly recommend you check them out. Koyan Eskatsi, which tells the story of man's technological progress from the African savannas to the shuttle launch. Love is All by Kim Long Junotto, which shows the evolution of love's portrayal on screen. Then there's Pixar's Up, which I think we've probably all seen. The love story didn't need to say a word. We all deeply understood their relationship and felt his loss after that opening sequence. I think it comes down to this. Leaving things unsaid is powerful. When we crystallize feelings into words, often they sound cheap, like a greetings card. It's far better to let imagery and music do all the heavy lifting. I'm often struck, particularly in documentary, but also in fiction film, by the need to over explain things. I can understand in factual filmmaking, there can feel like this need to tell people how things were, like these are the facts. But often the truth of something lies in the gray area between the facts. And I think it's more powerful to present simple ideas and leave space for the audience to understand the complexity through how they feel. There's depth in ambiguity. So I use this technique three times in Memories of War. I named each sequence War Trains, Christian Soldiers, and After the Blitz. And each time I wanted to provide more emotional depth to the ideas that had just been discussed, but they also serve a functional purpose. This doc covers a lot of areas from the experiences of schoolgirls to frontline soldiers. <laughs> So I used these wordless story sequences to pivot the doc in a new direction. They help to seamlessly flow from one topic to the next. I've done an Instagram edit of each sequence, which you know I'll link below, and you can check out the whole film as well, which I'll also link. So final thought, next time you're using archive, but this can apply to B-roll as well. Don't just provide a visual representation of what's been said. Try to add another layer to the story and provide emotional depth by taking the audience on a journey. Think of them as thematic pauses in the story. I always love it when movies 
take out the dialogue, take out the words. So comment below what movies you like that tell stories without words. And that's it. What else needs to be said? <laughs>